and I will show you how to install uh, MS MQ. Um, the way you do it is you go to uh, programs in uh, programs and functions, um, and uh, here you can go to uh, Windows functions uh, from and off, um, and uh, then you go down to uh, MS MQ we have right here. I already installed it, but you just check these boxes and you press OK and then it installs and it uh, will take a moment and uh, to see if it's installed or not the, you go to uh, computer uh, administrations and you go down to um, this and then it should be here at the messaging queue should be here uh, with, with these folders um, and then it should work uh, I'll, I'll now write, write a program to see if it works. So the first thing we want to do is uh, start uh, Visual Studio. Then uh, we want to create a new program. And use uh, console.app.net framework and not netcore. And I'll call it ms mq um, test and to get the messaging uh, we have to go to reference and get the reference for it uh, system uh, to able and it should be right around here Using system dot messaging, and then we can make a queue. And the first, thing, that's the first thing we want to do is to say messaging queue mq. I will call it mq. You can call it whatever you like to. And this is just for testing to test if it works. Then we want to create a path. And the path will go to um, to uh, right here to the private queues. Um, And I'll call uh, the folder message. Yes. And then uh, we want to create the path because right now I've just added it to the queue, so uh, it knows it has that path. Um, And this is just a string you put in to create, so we actually don't need to do this, but then we know this this queue have this path directly, so if we need to use this later or something. Um, but uh, I can run the program now and we can see the, the path will be uh, created. So uh, if I go into computer administrations, there should be a path now if I uh, reset this here. It's called messages. There's nothing in it though, because we haven't sent anything yet. Uh, and then you can create a label to the queue. Um, and then we can send it. Send a message, and I'll just uh, write hey. Um, 
and crew that just then we dispose of the crew. And then we send the message. And because the path is already created, I can't create it again, of course. So there comes an error. So Um, and I'll show later in another program how you can check if the path is already created. Uh, well, of course not, it's already created, so we get an error. Um, but if I run it now, send it. then uh, the message should be sent. And uh, if we refresh here, refresh this. Here we have it. And we go to, uh, we can go in and see it. Um, and here we have it, hey, and it's an uh, XML format. And in uh, the next video, I will show how to um, how to get the message.